welcome, it's Chili Cube. I'm here in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with the pour over a um, previously poured glass vase. Um, and I lost all the colours, seem to just uh, go real a bland. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to re-pour this and see if it will actually re-pour over it and get a better outcome. So I have got some uh, ready-made pouring paints and I'm going to do them in those colours. And I've got a cup which I use to place this one over the top. So when it comes to time to remove my cup, it's easy enough to move. I've also got a canvas underneath that I'm gonna let the runoff go onto the canvas so I can create a whole different art piece from this. And I've got it on my spinner, which I've got a shower cap over my spinner, which keeps it clean. So, tricks of the trade, tricks of the trade. So I'm going to put that, well actually I'll put that aside first because I'd like to fill my cup up with my paints first of all. So, so, I am going to use this, like I said, they're pre-made pouring paints, so a no-brainer, easy, easy. Um, there's a link for them underneath in my Amazon store. Um, this one is called Ultramarine Blue. So I'm going to start with my ultramarine and I'm literally going to layer the paints. I give them a good shake because uh, they often separate and they need a real good shake. So I'm going to then pour in some of this. That looks a lot thicker than the other one. Ooh, that is cad minimum, cad minimum. Had minimum red. I'm just going to pour a bit more of this ziggy zaggy on there, and I'm going to go to my one of my favourites is this particular gold. It's a really lovely metallic gold, but it's really super. Um, oh, I think I've got one open and I try and use the one that I haven't got open. No, it isn't. I haven't opened that one either. Silly sausage. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you what, they do not uh, allow old people <laughs> to um, open the lids on these things. So this gold is gorgeous. So I'll put plenty of that in. Go back to the red. I think I'm just about out of this particular one. I'll probably put a little bit of water in there and stretch it out a bit more again. I'm going to go back to the ultramarine blue. That may be very well enough, but I'm not going to risk it, so I'll add a little bit more of my red. Actually, that wasn't shaked up very well, I can see. Like I said, they really do need a good shaking up. Go back to that. So remember actually the last one you pour in will be the first one out. So I'm just thinking now I'm going to end up with all that blue aren't I because I am... Um, anyway I will see if I can work that out as I go. Yeah the, the last the first colour you put in is going to be the last colour out, so that's what you're going to get most of. So I'm just going to put that there. If I need to alter it along the way, I will. I'm thinking that maybe I just pour some red over it now. Let's give it a go. Just on its own, if I pour some red over, just to give me a little bit of a base coat over that colour that's already there. So that's going to just come down nice and slowly. Now I'll do my 
little cup pour and I'll do it in a like spiral motion I guess I think that's maybe all that particular cup needs. Look at that colour. <gasps> that is gorgeous. Gorgeous. But just leave it for a while. Even that paint here will slowly go down and cover the side. That's a bit red there, but that is gorgeous. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, just a little bit more is probably all I need and then I'll save the rest for my canvas. is slowly working its way down there now so I can just at this time just slide my cup off and put it aside but I'm just gonna leave that on there now for a good 10 minutes to allow the paint to cover completely which it nearly has that whole um, little glass vase thing vase 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 I've lost all my blue, see? Oh, there's only a bit of blue here. I suppose if you layer the cups, not, um, you layer the cups thinly, so there's a layer of each color, then it's gonna be more equal, I guess, when you pour it out. But it is mostly the red and gold, which is absolutely fine. But I am loving that blue down there. So I am going to leave it and let it settle petal and I'll be back. Okay, as you see, I moved the cup over. Um, I've moved it away, out, away from my last of my um, little drippings. Now I'm going to um, pour this one out onto the canvas so I make a, turn it around while I'm doing it, hey? Let's go for, go for gold. This is quite thick paint, it, or the red in it was. Uh, we'll see what we get out of this weird concoction. I've got a little idea. I was, um, I had some of these super cell pouring paints that you know make cells. And so I was thinking of, this was just the pouring paint. I'm gonna see if I add some of this supercell over the top, whether, uh, what kind of look it will give me. So I'm going to just poke out the, uh, I wanna actually use the, what you call it, the actual spout to be my little, um, like a pen and I'm going to give it a figure eight invigorate figure eight it's not coming a very figure eighty it's here there and everywhere radio I'm going to give it a tilt now and um, I just thought putting that black in will give a little bit of point of difference let's Tilt it. Oh, these colours are super gorgeous. Super gorgeous. That ultramarine blue is looking very purplish now. There. And you again could be tilting this onto another canvas to continue. Oh, I can see all the little cells are popping up in that black. Well, there you go. 
I think somebody suggested on one of my videos where I use this supercell, have you just tried it as a, as a cell um, accelerator, meaning, you know, creating cells over normal paint. So this is not their supercell paint underneath, just that black, but it is making all the colors. Um, it's it popping little champagne cells and I will be able to show you when I come down closer. But seeing how thick this paint is, look how slowly it's moving. But you know, it's a real easy peasy one because you haven't got to mix paints or anything. I've got a bit of a blob in there I need to, I should have got rid of that. And I should have done this black a little bit uh, finer line so you live and learn but it is popping through all these colors so that's quite nice let's help it get down here a bit quicker now I've got to kind of tilt it back to recenter it pop it down well wow, look at those colors it's all popping through there let me see what it comes up like with a bit of um, heat on it but it would have been nice if it was finer I guess oh no look at that wow look at the cells I'm not sure if you're seeing it now it's making me wonder if you use it as a cell activator put it and swipe it or blow it for the bloom I guess that would work too. Let's put a bit of extra paint on this. It's using the paint that's... Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see where those cells have popped up, but they definitely are a poppin'. Um, so you've got a nice uh, canvas to go with your vase if you want to give us a gift. It's a nice little thing sure if I see what my skewer can do in here to break up some of this black silhouette I'm gonna bring you down have a close-up it looks very cosmic it certainly does you see all of those lovely little colorful champagne cells in that black so there you go it actually does work as a cell activator um, so I guess you could definitely use it as a swipe I haven't tried so I will give that a go absolutely happy that I did my swirls through it now because oh, I'm getting a glare come back but it is a lovely little canvas and it's going to be super cute super cute and shiny because it's got such a the metallic colors in it it's gorgeous love it and this is my glass vase so I will just leave it there today now and tomorrow morning it'll be dry enough for me to you just squeeze that plastic cup at the bottom you just squeeze it and lift the vase straight off it so that's much better colors at the moment I mean I'm very disappointed I lost all the blue and I could pour over it again but I'm not going to um, got a bit of blue there that's about it but it doesn't matter it still looks lovely and I do know someone that's got red decor that loves anything red so I already have in mind a gift in that um, but look at that definitely looks cosmic looks awesome figure eight in figure eight there you go so I will definitely put the dry photos of my vase on the end you will see it so I just want to thank you guys so much for joining me again in my crazy art journey. 
my husband John is doing well. He goes for more tests um, soon, so hopefully there's no bad news. <laughs> Pretty sure there's not going to be. It's going to be fine. All right, my lovelies, thank you for all your lovely, lovely messages you've been sending me. So appreciate your sticky viewers, the ones that stick with me and keep viewing my content and always writing comments to me. I'll read every one of them, trust me. I don't always get to answer them all back because there's literally thousands, but I do read them. So thank you, my lovelies. Until tomorrow, bye for now.